hi welcome back everyone today i am going to discuss an important topic of dual tile sign we should always think beyond meningioma let us see what is dual tile sign and what are the things which we should remember before committing it as a meningioma so these two are the cases of classic meningioma you can see the extra axial lesion you can see the thickening and enhancement of the adjacent dura anteriorly and posteriorly along the left frontal convexity classic appearance of meningioma with dural tail sign this is another case of frontal meningioma you can see the adjacent thickening and enhancement of the dura in a classic case of meningioma so what are the differential diagnosis for this dural tail sign most of us think the dural tail sign is seen in meningioma alone which is a misnomer and many people still think it as it is seen only in meningioma so here is the first case you can see taken from radiopedia which is an intraaxial lesion showing heterogeneous enhancement with central necrotic area and adjacent dural thickening with enhancement this was a proven case of idh wild type of glioblastoma this is another case of known case of prostate carcinoma in 68 year old patient you can see the large enhancing lesion with adjacent irregular dural thickening proven to be dural metastasis this is a 47 year old female patient with breast carcinoma you can see a small dural thickening this is an actually an intraaxial lesion with adjacent dural thickening which is proven to be the metastasis from breast carcinoma this is again a case of large glioblastoma showing intense heterogeneous enhancement with dural tail along the left frontal convexity and this is a case of anaplastic oligodendroglioma which is an intraaxial lesion again showing enhancement of the and dura and thickening of the dura and this is a 40 year old man with known case of vigorous granulomatosis you can see a heterogeneously intensely enhancing lesion in the left cp angle and you can see the tentorium on left side is thickened and showing enhancement which is a case of vaginal granulomatosis this is again if you look at the appearance extra axial lesion well defined showing dural tail again which is clearly seen even in the coronal images of post contrast even weighted images which imaging wise we give it as a meningioma but this is a proven case of dural cavernous angioma this is a, another case of 6 year old male patient presented with lytic lesion in the bone you can see the calvarial lesion which is like punched out lesion again showing a dural thickening on post contrast you can see the lesion is enhancing the calvarial lesion and you can see the dural thickening and enhancement of descent to it so the most important points to remember in dural tail sign i want to say is in majority of the cases it represents a hypervascular non neoplastic reaction and it is less specific sign and differentials include which include a big list of meningioma chloroma metastasis lymphoma glioma and granulomatous disorders especially in india think of tb we need to rule out tuberculosis erythem chester disease etc and histologically it represents mostly due to the fibro proliferative tissue with increased vascularity which is not related to the adjacent primary lesion that is it's just a thickening and of the dura adjacent to the lesion which may or may not be related to the infiltration of the lesion and histologically in many cases it has proven to be not related to the primary lesion and it's a controversial uh, still a lot of research is still going on about the dural tail sign and dural tail sign is better appreciated on mri post contrast t1 weighted image than that of the ct and on dynamic contrast studies dural tail can show early enhancement probably due to its increased vascularity these are the few major points to be remembered in the presence of dural tail sign a lesion with dural tail sign think of all the differentials systematic evaluation clinical and laboratory evaluation is very much important thank you very much uh, you can go through this an excellent article of dual tail sign which has elaborated with lot of cases which i have taken in this uh, teaching video all the cases have been taken from this journal which has an excellent review of dual tail sign thank you very much